Hello people, I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Johnny Rome, and we are discussing Jersey. Uh, this is from IMDb. A failed cricketer decides to revive his cricketing career in his late 30s despite everyone being skeptical of his ability to do so. This is starring Nani, Shraddha Sarnath, and Harish Kalyan. It's directed and written by Gautam Tina Nuri. It's also starring a lot of other people, but yeah, those are yeah. the top build names on IMDb. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen the film yet, I would recommend go watch that and come back to this, but uh, just for a short uh, reference, I like this film quite a bit, and I do recommend watching it. I think it's fantastic. Did you want to give a short, like, small truncated opinion real quick? Small truncated yeah, opinion? Yeah, just like a, a one-liner. I thought this was a really good movie. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I'll leave it at that. Go watch it and come back, and that's the end of the non-spoiler part. We're going to get into spoilers. I don't even know if there's really anything to spoil. It's a sports movie, but... And you sort of know everything at the beginning of yeah. the film, which is very fascinating to me because just like with 500 Days of Summer, like, you know right at the top what the ending is going to mm -hmm. be, but you still go into the adventure and you're you still... You want to go through the journey. You yeah, want to understand go, the characters. Yeah. You want to see how you got there. Exactly. exactly. The same thing happens with, like, if you know the story of, like, Apollo 13, you already know what the outcome of that is, but when you're watching it, it's still riveting stuff because Ron Howard did a good job there. I want to let you go first, as usual, because, like, I'm always here. You guys hear my opinion all the time. What, what, what are your thoughts? I like the way they told the story. Okay. I really like the, the out-of-sequence jumping three time periods. I've seen a lot of people, like... Mess that up. Mess that up, yeah, like tangle it up so much. But I'm always a big fan of movies that can give you, here's a chunk of information like in the present, this is its correlation to the past, now here's this other time period where this affects this too. I think everything was paced really well in that regard and everything was tied together very well. I loved the characters. The heart of the movie is the relationship between the kid, the father, the father's wanting to be more successful, be more financially successful so he could get this kid his jersey, man. Yeah. He just wants to get the kid his jersey. And the kid's like, oh, I can't be popular without my jersey. I really enjoyed everyone in this movie. I loved, um, I think Sarah's the character name. Mm -hmm. Sarah's the, the wife. And jumping back and forth, and, and Ar Arjun? Arjun. Arjun? Yeah. Arjun as a character, which Nani, Incredible performance. Yes. Um, Ar Arjun as a character, like seeing him in, I believe it's the 1980s, and he's like a lot more hot headed and he's a lot, you know, he's got a lot more anger to him. And then jumping to the 1990s and he's kind of down on his luck. The cricket sequences are really well done. Mm -hmm. This movie shot really well. It reminds me of a lot of like Hollywood sports movies. Okay. Um, it could also just be the length of it. Two hours is a lot more common for American, American cinema. But there was still enough of surprises. I didn't see what happens in the end happen in the Like, I didn't see that coming. I didn't know we, like, we're in spoilers, right? Yeah, we're in spoilers. Okay, we're in spoilers. Yeah, I, I didn't expect him to to have some sort of illness. This to me was very much like The Wrestler, where you've got this guy, I mean, this is way more family friendly than The Wrestler is. <laughs> but Wait, which one's The Wrestler? The Wrestler is with Mickey Rourke, and it's directed by Darren Aronofsky. He did Requiem for a Dream, he did Noah, he did- I saw uh, Noah. Um, recently he did Mother, The Fountain. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's done a lot of, uh, he did Pi. And he also did uh, Black Swan. And so, oh, and, and just like with Black Swan or The Wrestler, they're both these kamikaze type films where this person only knows how to do this thing. That is what they are best at. And so while the driving force of the film was the relationship between Arjun and his son, and that's what was pushing him to continue this route of, of being a, you know, in cricket and whatnot, it was still the thing that gave him life. It was still mm -hmm. the thing that he, that's all he really knew. Just like in The Wrestler of Black Swan, like he, not to, I'm sorry to spoil the movies, <laughs> but like he dies doing what he genuinely loved. Like he pushes it off in the film going, I'm not, I don't wanna play cricket anymore, I don't wanna be a coach or whatever. But like, he does love it. It is his yeah. heart and soul. I thought that that was a very interesting way to go because as an artist or as someone in sports or whatever, I feel like we do kind of live and die on those passions. Like we would rather die doing the thing we love to do than anything else, mm -hmm. ultimately. I think that's a, a philosophy that's easily relatable. It's one of those things I take metaphorically. I want to die on my, you know, doing what I love. Yeah. But like, you mean that in a metaphorical sense, mm -hmm. whereas the movie's showing you literally what's going on. And so uh, I thought that was really cool. Just to let you guys know, I forgot to mention this at the top. We watched the Hindi version of this and we tried really, really hard to find the Telugu version, but it wasn't available on Amazon anymore. We lo And the only place that this was still playing is on YouTube and it was in Hindi. And I'm, I know that a lot of you guys who are purists would prefer us to have, I really wanted to see the Telugu version. And even halfway into watching it, I was like, oh, I wish I was watching the original <laughs> version of this because I can see their acting and I can see that the acting is really good. And I just wish that I had that 100% connection mm -hmm. to the acting 
with actually hearing the actors because I thought they were all doing a fantastic job. I mean, no, no discrediting the voiceover actors for yeah. who did the Hindi version. By the way, they're remaking this in Hindi with uh, Shahid Kapoor and the original uh, writer director. He's doing the uh, Hindi version of this film. Oh, it's like and a so grudge. We just recently had a film called Arjun Reddy that was remade into Kabir Singh by the same director, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, I guess this is the thing that happens. First, let me say I loved this movie. I thought it was fantastic. I found it actually a little too close to home sometimes. The mom is the breadwinner and the dad is just like, He's got this thing that he loves and he's just trying to, you know, figure it out and make ends meet and he's kind of, excuse the language, he's kind of a funk up until he goes back into sports again. And the thing is, like for me growing up, that kid is basically my, that's my childhood right there mm -hmm. is watching that unfold and seeing the fights happen and seeing how these arguments because of money, because like that's what happens when you're struggling, when you when you have parents that are struggling with money and whatnot or having financial issues, you grew up seeing these arguments all the time and that becomes normal, mm -hmm. right? And so I felt for the kid and I just, I felt for the dad especially. I'm like, this is so, it, just because <laughs> of my experiences, it yeah. felt so real. As far as Telugu films go, I think this might be my favorite one. This is definitely one of my favorite Indian films. It didn't feel like it was ever melodramatic for me. I was gonna ever. say, it definitely felt yep. very, very realized. It yep. knew what it was doing. And it, it but it, it also wasn't afraid to go into the like more movie moments when he's celebrating because he gets on the demons like, yeah! yeah. Like I was like, yeah, oh yeah, dude, like yeah. like do it. I thought that was really cool. Are you talking about the train? When the yeah, train's when the train's by? going by and he's like I thought that was actually super cool because it takes me a moment to realize like he doesn't really have anywhere he can go to let that excitement out and be alone. That's the objective, right? Is he's just trying to find his own space by himself in order to let it out as soon as possible. And that was the most sensible place he could go. Like he timed it with the train and I was like, that's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna steal that someday. I thought that was really, really cool that he did that. That he used the noise of the train to, to obscure it from anyone else, you know, hearing him and whatnot. And he just lets it all out. Mm -hmm. and. I don't know that I've ever had a moment like that in life where it's just like, I'm so happy that, that I need to you know, just like, that I'm just like shouting at the time. Yeah. I've had moments where I was so happy I cried, but not so happy that I shouted like that. I thought that was really cool. I just felt for him, the whole movie. For some reason, I just felt for him. I think my gripes were all small technical things. Like, I didn't like the hip hop music that played when he was beating up the dude oh. in his younger years. Mm -hmm, I just mm -hmm. thought that was like out of left field. Yeah. The general score of the movie, I liked a lot. I thought that the like the guitar theme that they used mm -hmm. was really nice. Oh yeah. The, the heavy rock stuff, I was on the fence about. I'm like, this is, this is okay. I'm not loving that, but I love the just main theme of the song. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very sorrowful and, and touching at the same time. I, I just thought, you know, I thought it was cool. In general, like even though, like I said earlier, we're not getting 100% of the acting because it's all it's dubbed. dubbed, yeah. I st still feel like I could sense what the acting was from it based on what the voiceover artists are trying mm -hmm. to do. The only thing that didn't work for me was uh, was the kid sometimes because like it was just like it's not I know that yeah, the yeah, yeah. original kid probably did a better job. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of that I felt connected to the characters. I didn't mm -hmm. feel like I lost the sense of drama. I want to watch it again. If anyone's willing to ship this to me. <laughs> I would the, love, the original version. Yeah, right? dude, yeah, I would love to watch the original version because I need to see this movie again. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And the sports stuff even though I, I don't fully understand the rules of cricket, I still felt, you know, like the excitement. Yeah, it was it was just the way it was shot. Yeah. It was the music. It was the fact that we were so behind the main character. Yeah. That when he's playing the game, yeah. you just can't help but like yeah. want to root him on, want to like cheer for him, you yeah. know? Which does make the acting like a little sad. I was like, oh damn. We knew he died, but yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, it kind of it kind of catches you off guard. I, um, my one other complaint is the ending because it cuts back to present and I thought that was fine Okay, there's two things. Uh, I'm gonna say this other thing before I forget it music fade outs And this is a common issue I've seen in a number of Indian films where they don't fade out the music slowly It just kind of cuts abruptly and I'm mm. like, uh, I mean, maybe it's just my upbringing with American films where it's like It does a slow smooth fade out. Yeah, it didn't always back in earlier American films If you go back sometimes it did just cut out now We have it in American films where it smoothly fades out in order to slowly transition you into the next moment. Whereas there was a number of instances here where it just like cut abruptly. And I'm like, why are you doing that? But I've seen this a lot with Indian films, so it's a very common thing. I wish that it didn't do that. I wish mm -hmm. that it had his nice fade out, but it back to the ending, likewise, it abruptly just kind of cuts to the credits. And I'm like, what? 
Yeah. Like, let me ease out of this a little bit longer. Like, 1917 me a little bit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 1917. You know what I'm you saying? You want a whole two-hour one-shot yeah, afterwards? <laughs> exactly. Just, like, give, let it linger a little bit before you just close it out. I wish that they gave you a little bit more of that third act, the third act being the conclusion of this whole. Mm -hmm. because, like, where does the kid go from here? He was just there to facilitate telling the story. Yeah. Which is fine. But I just wish there was a little bit more closure on the movie because it just felt like they were like, okay, get out, <laughs> on yeah. to the next thing. I agree. I think that was like one of the things that I was like, I I, I don't love that it, it was such a like abrupt ending. Abrupt ending. Like yeah. it it was it really did just just end. But you know, of course, I'm I'm such a sucker for feel good movies. Mm -hmm. Just the inspirational, the the rooting on of someone down on their luck. I will almost always get behind that. The relationship he shares with his kid and the kid not knowing about what's going on with him, like health wise. Right. Like that's a very manly thing to do is just to, like bottle it up and not tell anybody. And then mm -hmm. suddenly you're dead. And it's like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you know. And the kid, of course, is blaming himself. And I can completely relate to that and understand that. It's like, even though he, it's not his fault. I mean, the, the Arjun made his own decisions oh, yeah. for better or worse. He made his own decisions about, he's a grown man. I think as a kid, you still kind of own that responsibility inadvertently when it's not your responsibility to own. Going back to what you were saying earlier, the non-linear thing was really neat. Just mm -hmm. like 500 Days of Summer, where you're seeing that comparison and contrast of like, this is what it was when they were younger and like how rambunctious he was and, and how, how, she, how much she was in love with him. And then you see it later on where he's a lot sweeter and more <laughs> yeah. calmed down, but like he's also kind of a, a fuck up and she's like angry with him all the time. That moment when he's like, when he's caught stealing the money, it was like, oh my God, like, and she's so Dude, upset uh. that she's like, here's my jewelry, here's this, now go sell it, blah, blah, blah. She was so real, her anger. And even when she came back and was like, okay, you can give this up now. My father's gonna come and give us 50,000 rupees. That was very unexpected because everything is going nice in the film. And he just had that moment where he helps out his uh, teammate's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. where he goes to talk to her and says, don't worry, just stick through it. She had know. a great, great friendship. I like their, yeah. their interactions. Yeah, that was really nice, right? And he talks to her and he comforts her and says, you know, just stand by him. He needs you right now. I, I know that he can't see it and maybe he can't articulate it, but you need to stand by him. And then that ends up working out. The very next scene, after he got done saying how great his wife is, she comes back and is like, yeah, you can quit. <laughs> you, you, you can just give this up. <laughs> and come back home and do a regular job now. And he's like, this is the first time I'm angry with you. Which is what I, something I wish I could say to a girlfriend, cause like, <laughs> I feel This like, is the first time I'm angry. Yeah, but, uh, but, but anywho, I thought that was really cool. And the way relationships are like, there's like fights and then things get mended. I thought that was all really neat. It felt like, it felt very real, mm -hmm. you know? Is your neck okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, ah, oh, dude, yeah. my neck <laughs> feels so weird like, right looking. now. I was like, <laughs> the whole time. I was like ah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love this film. I thought it was great. Definitely one of my favorite Indian mm -hmm. films, and I'm very, very glad I watched it. I wish I watched it sooner, so I could have watched it in the Telugu, but I will totally watch it again. I'm not just gonna watch it again if I, if it's sent to me in a Telugu Blu-ray, but I'll also watch it again when uh, Shahid Kapoor remakes it. So, mm -hmm. I'll see the movie twice again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Check out Johnny Rome on the social media. Follow him over there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Javi Koi. This is Johnny Rome. Peace out.